Hello, everybody. I know you guys are super excited. I am too. We have the beautiful, gorgeous, one of our favorite Australians, Tamara here. And we're going to we're gonna organize this, this episode a little bit different today so that you guys have a more organized outline of where to market with certain things that you need. So we're going to start off with a really important question regarding certain regulations happening in the world with the and what you can do about it. Then we're going to go into a more positive mindset for about 30 minutes. So you can listen to that over and over again when you need those reassuring words. And then at the end, we're going to do question and answer with some of the awesome questions that you guys sent in. And I will be marking the time steps down in the description box below. So you always know where each section starts. Okay. Hello, Tamara. I'm so happy. Hi. You're here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, it's like the company here that has the um the serum in the natural form yeah which is called taiga or whatever however you pronounce it i don't know anyway they sold out they sold out within this short period of time but one thing i need to say to people when you have that you're taking it it's like it will do a detox mm -hmm. so you'll get you'll get a detox from it okay um but with it as well now if your immune system is 100 percent perfect the immune system will actually deal with the shedding of the proteins that you're taking on. But it's got to be 100% perfect. So my saying and what I teach in my seminars is trust in God but tie up your donkey, okay? So we're Love going to trust in God. We're going to trust in God with our immune system but we're going to tie up the donkey and it's like with the kids, I'm just going to have those teenagers, they're going to be taking like one capsule a day because that's what it worked out with when I worked out with the pendulum for them, yeah? Mm -hmm. So it's like it's not going to do any harm to take it just to make sure. Got it? Right. Now, here we go. Um, this came through to me from one of my people, and this, is, um, this has got to do with people that are being forced to have the, mm -hmm. um, in order to keep their jobs. Okay, so the secret, the secret is not to refuse it. So a friend of this friend's in, friend in the NHS is being pressured to take the, mm -hmm. um, I write with regard to the matter of potential um, and my desire to be fully informed and appraised of all facts before going ahead. This is what you write, Okay. I'd be most grateful if you could please provide the following information in accordance with statutory legal requirements. One, and I will actually type this out, Bryce, and send it to you by an email so it can go out to you people if they need this, okay? Perfect. Perfect. Right. Can, you, yep, can you please advise me of the approved legal status of any and if it is experimental? Two, can you please provide details and assurances that the has been fully independently and rigorously tested against control groups and the subsequent outcomes of those tests? Three, can you please advise of the full list of contents of the I am to receive and if any are toxic to the body? Four, can you please fully advise of all the adverse reactions associated with this since its introduction? Five, can you please confirm that the you are advocating is not, in capital letters, experimental mRNA gene-altering therapy? Six, can you please confirm that I will not be under any duress from yourselves as my employers in compliance with the Nuremberg Code? Seven, can you please advise me of the likely risk of fatality should I be unfortunate to contact COVID-19 and the likelihood of recovery? Once I have received the above information in full and I am satisfied that there is no threat to my health, I will be happy to accept your offer to receive the treatment, but with certain conditions, dash, namely that, one, you confirm that I will suffer no harm, two, 
Following acceptance of this, the offer must be signed by a fully qualified doctor who will take full legal and financial responsibility for any injuries occurring to myself and or from any interactions by authorised personnel regarding these procedures. Three, in the event that I should have to decline the offer of Please confirm that it will not compromise my position and that I will not suffer prejudice and discrimination as a result. I would also advise that my inalienable rights are reserved. The point being, though, that they cannot, capital letters, provide that information, but you have not, capital letters, refused. That's amazing. Oh, too right. I mean, hooly dooly. I read that and I went, yes. And I will tell you guys, oh. I had a conversation with one of my students yesterday and she was kind of freaking out about it because of her kids and all this kind of stuff. And we were talking about how we have another student who's an attorney here in America. And guys, it takes 10 years for a treatment to be approved by the FDA. It That's right. Been, it hadn't been 10 years. No, and, no, and so, no. When you, when you get this, if you haven't signed anything, if they give you something to sign, make sure you read it because it might, you might be signing away your rights and, and, and yeah. saying that you understand this is an experiment, but they haven't yeah. given you anything to sign and they give this to you under false yeah. pretense. That is breaking a Nuremberg law. And that's yeah. serious. Yeah. That's serious. Yeah. And that was, you know, like, yeah, yeah. My ex son in law, don't you love this? My <laughs> ex son in law's new wife. <laughs> I do love it. I think it's amazing. I mean, she works in the medical field and they have been at her to get this and mm -hmm. she keeps on doing the pushback. But when I got that, I just shot it through to her and I said, right, here you go, ducks. Yep. Right, this is, this is what you have to do. Yeah. All so, right. So that's, yeah, go on. It's not, it's not you. It's not saying that you're going to take it. It's just kind of buying you more time before we know this is about to flip. And so you are, and then, it, and then, and if it takes longer, you do have a piece of paper signed by them saying that your job is not at stake because you decided yeah. not to do this. So um, yeah. and, and yeah. for the Americans out there too, guys, remember with our HIPAA laws here in America, they technically are not allowed to even ask you about your medical issues because of HIPAA laws. Now they're not, they're not observing those HIPAA laws, but technically you can refute things just under HIPAA here in America. So yeah. that's beautiful yeah. guys. And yes, if you guys want a copy of that, Tamara's going to send it to yeah. me so you can have that copy. That's amazing. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All okay. right. Cool. All right. So we talked about this and we went, right, let's do some positives because I'm into positives. Yeah. <laughs> I go down the, yep. Go down the street every morning. Like I said, no mask, you know, I drive, I've gone beyond my 5k radius that they said that I wasn't meant to drive beyond. And I saw police cars around me. Nobody pulled me over. You know, I mean, I mean, hello comment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and then I go in for my coffee, morning, everybody. So here's everybody like with the masks on and there's me and I'm just go, oh, really? You know, like, oh, my God. Yeah. So every morning I wake up and I throw my arms open wide and I say, good morning, God. Uh huh. Good morning, God. And then I say, I am, and I'll send this through to you as well, Bryce, okay? I am open and receptive to receiving all good. Today is a wonderful day of prosperity. My income is constantly increasing. I have 100% perfect health now. I have the energy and the stamina of a young, fit, healthy teenager now. Every cell throughout the whole of my body is 100% perfect now. I have 100% perfect health now. May all of this come to pass immediately under grace and in perfect ways. Thanks be to God. And then I've started to add on, right, I am cloaked in the armour of God. It's beautiful. That's it. Okay? Beautiful. Because this is this positive. This is about this repetition. 
that I say to people all the time because what you focus on and what you say, you are actually going to bring to you. Yeah. Yeah. So when people send me through links or whatever, yeah, I just say to them in regard to what's going on, I just write back and go, is this negative or is this positive? And they'll send back and they'll go, oh, it's negative. Um, please do not send me anything that is negative. I am not interested. Mm -hmm. I know about the I know what's in it, okay? I know that, yeah? yeah? I know what's going on here. I know that. But I do not need to be receiving, mm -hmm. like, people being interviewed or, like, oh, this has come out or that's come out or something else has come out and it is negative. Right. I am not interested. The more we are all focused in on a positive outcome, our thought processes all coming together have incredible power. And if we're all focused in on the same thing, like last week it was like let's do the Reiki on the planet. Let's do if you do like any other form of healing do that every night before you go to bed because you're focusing in on the earth actually healing, yeah. right? Yeah. Really, really, really important. Now, don't know if people realise this or not. If you do, please bear with me. Subconscious mind has a power of 90%. Conscious mind has a power of 10 the first 10 years of a child's life, our life is the most important because we receive programming. All of our fears and all of our negative beliefs are formed during that period of time. So please, with your children during this period of time, make sure that there is a lot of positivity around the child. If your child is in fear, if you're in fear, and as I was talking to you before, Bryce, you have a copy of the um, Emotional Freedom recording from my website so that keeps people clear of fear anger hurt sadness guilt resentment worry frustration shame envy jealousy bitterness and pain yep and it's replaced with all of the positive so every day with your children a lot of the kids and they can't sleep you just put this on plug it in and they will listen to it and it's keeping them clear of the negative emotions as well as the adults because some adults, they're trying to keep on top of it. They're trying to be as positive as possible, but just some days it just gets a little bit too much, yeah? yeah. If you've got negative people around you, to keep yourself clear on my website under products is also Hawaiian Healing. That cuts all of those cords. Then if you're sabotaging yourself, there's something to keep you free of self-sabotage, yeah? Mm -hmm. And all of those work out to about $27 American. So they're all at wholesale prices, yeah? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's, that's that, okay? So now when you're looking at people and you're trying to get them to see what's going on or trying to get it through to them, what you have to remember is that 90% subconscious, 10% conscious. So they've been receiving all of this subconscious programming and it's been repeated over and over and over again. One of the things that they are programmed with is the doctors know what they're talking about. Oh, I'll, I'll take you to the doctor. It's all of these people in positions of authority. So we can't expect for them to actually turn off from trusting the doctor because they've been raised to trust the doctor. Right. Yeah. Do you get yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So it's Absolutely. going, yeah. And this is why I'm saying to people turn off that television because it's like if there was a one ad to do with, or one ad to do with the C word, yeah, it's like there would be three in every break. Yep. So it's like yep. you either turn it over or with me if I'm in the kitchen, I'm singing. La, 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 la. If I can't get to turn it over, yeah? yeah, like like really it's really, really important just to like really be aware of what is going in and but also be aware of trying to get people to wake up mm -hmm. and a lot of people just will not wake up and you just need to know that i did something with um with bryce just before which i thought was fascinating which was how many what percentage of the world have actually woken up 
And what what I got through was 80%. It's amazing. 80% of the world have got it. Yeah, have got it. And I tell you, it's like I sat and I nearly spurted my coffee all over the wall at my coffee shop when I was looking at my phone and it showed you the French and all of the French farmers with all of the manure all over Macron's well, I thought, well, look at that. I said, you know, if that, if that, if that ain't the French Revolution for the second time, yeah, it's happening. It's happening over there, big time. Yeah, the French, the French know how to throw a revolution. Let's just put oh back. boy, do they what? Yeah. So right, armor of God, very, very important. And what we're actually doing, and what's happening, and what the uh, white hats are doing, they're actually they're actually starting to rattle the consciousness of people. So they're rattling it by putting out so much. I mean, look, I said we have a saying here in Australia: Has that person really got all the ruse in the top paddock? Yeah, <laughs> or they're you know, or they're a few ruse short, you know, ruse short in the top paddock. Yeah. So what's happening is that all of this information is coming out and it's starting to rattle people. So just be just be very, very kind and gentle with people if people are starting to lose it, because they will. They will, they will be losing it. Okay. Now, um, you must keep clear of the fear. Right, fear is going to be your undoing. Okay, knowing your soul's direction that's very, very important. Once I understood what my soul's energy was here to do, then I went, Oh, okay, okay, bit of cake. Got rid of all of the lack of confidence, the low self esteem, the fear of public speaking. Do you believe it? Um, it's like you know, the fear of failure, all of that. Once you then get rid of all of that negative programming then it's about stepping out there and working with your soul's energy because when you do that, it just works. Like people say to me, born to be free, you've been doing it for 30 years. And I go, yeah. And they go, oh, my God. It's like, did you, was that your plan? No. No, I just thought I'd do a seminar. (laughs) Right? But it's like it's understanding that's what my soul has come here to do. Yeah? Yeah. So when that happens, it's like it just flows. And if your life is not flowing, then you need to look at what you are doing. And if you're not filled with joy and happiness with the work that you're doing, we're also needing to connect in, find out what your soul energy is all about, and then start working with that and embracing that, yeah? Because like, oh, and hi hi to everybody that I've read for, you know, I love you all, all, all the girls, <laughs> all the girls. Okay, no guys yet, but that's coming. Okay, um, and I think that was something that Michael Jaco was saying. He goes, look at all of these women, mm-hmm. all of these women. And, and Mel was said that she was at a, a conference for women recently and, um, and somebody said to her, oh, he's coming, he's coming. And she goes, who's coming? And it was like, um, President, he's here. He's here. And it was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So he actually walked in and he addressed all of the women, yeah, and went over and said hello to a few of them. So Mel said, he said hello to me. She, said, <laughs> but she was just, she was like, and she said, and I'm telling you now, she said the tone of that man's voice the look on his face, his skin, his energy was not of a man who's lost. Exactly. exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. She said, you know, he knows exactly what he's doing. And I think the thing that, that I also, you know, somebody said to me, it's like, um, it's like, you know, like, like who do you work for? Like who, like who are you working for? And I wrote this down. And I thought it was just like, it was so, it was so, so apparent. And it's like, you know, like I'm, I'm working, I work for the big boss, right? I work for the big boss and believe me, I'm with the higher command. And it's like, and that came to me when I was listening to one of the songs and it's the song like, do you hear me? Do you hear me running? Yeah. And then that's that's one of the um, the lines in it. Believe me, I'm working with the higher command. Yeah, 
and this is yeah. what's going on at the moment. And I thought, oh, my God, it's like that's Trump. He's working with the higher command, yeah, yeah. and it's like, and there's no stopping him because there's no stopping God. God's, mm-hmm. go, God's going to get his way um, like come, come hell or high water, yeah. 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 Um, now, also, people were saying to me, like, did I know anything, um, like, what was it like growing up? It's like I grew up with my dad, my mum and dad who were religious, but dad had a friend and this friend used to come and visit. Like, every month there would be a visit from this man, yeah? And um, and he used to talk about the flying saucers and he used to talk about the ETs. Now, like, I was a little nipper, you know, like I was about, like, eight eight, nine, ten years of age, yeah, but I always remember this man and my mother used to go, oh, no, oh, no, here we go, you know, but my father would be in the lounge room and I would sneak in there and just sort of sit in there and listen to what this man had to say, you know, and he said, we are not here on our own, yeah, we are not here on our own, yeah, and he said, and they come out and they come out and they will show themselves to certain people. Yeah, and I remember Shirley MacLaine saying when she was down in South America uh, filming like out on a limb, but when she actually went down there to do all of her journey, her spiritual journey, she talked to me about the flying saucers and Lake Titicaca, I think is how you pronounce it, yeah, down in South America. Really, really interesting, yeah? Yeah. Now, also, also, what have they been saying? What has he said? Watch the water. Mm-hmm. watch the water watch the water so we've got now the flooding in germany turkey china and they said that there's actually cracks in the dam right so that's that was the latest that's the latest today that the you know the cracks are actually showing in the dam yeah yeah and the thing is it's like it's it's really interesting because my dad used to say people who re- who reject the knowledge of God will perish. People who reject the knowledge of God will perish. Yeah. Okay, so questions? All right. <laughs> we got a lot of great questions. I, I, I think uh, maybe I'm biased, but I think that the subscribers to this channel, I think you guys are like the smartest people in the world because you literally send in some of the most thoughtful, in-depth questions. And so I think we have the smartest viewers ever. You guys are probably super high intelligence. So this is one of, we, you spoke about this a little bit in one of our episodes. So we now know that there's possibly 13 months and not 12, meaning 13 signs. And yeah. so the, it's kind of a, the question was, what calendar is correct then? Is the Lumerian calendar that we are going back to that's correct? Um, is the time meant to be rotating counter or anti-clockwise or clockwise? And how do we know our true signs? So like if I'm an Aquarius born February 4th, am I still going to be an Aquarius when we have the true calendar or will our signs actually change? You know what, like this is really, really interesting because um, I was asked to take over a... um, a, a, it was a radio show over in America at one point in time through friends of um, the English actor Michael York and his wife Pat, yeah? So I went, yep, sure, you know, so I had to talk to this woman from here and we, you know, organised it all. And so when I arrived in LA and I said to her, um, look, I'm a Capricorn um, but it's like, you know, I've got this on the ascendant and whatever, and um, because the astrology that I do, I do intuitive astrology. I just look at where planets are and what's going on and then I get told what what it means and how it's going to affect. So it's not through books, right. yeah, the knowledge right. that I have. Anyway, so she turned up and, and I opened up the door and she looked at me and she goes, hmm, yep, yep, I told you. I told you, Gemini on the ascendant. She said, you have not got Taurus on the ascendant. And I said, but like astrologers that have done my chart chart per se, in the, she goes, no. She said, because have a guess what, There's no, there was no northern or southern hemisphere. Yeah. When astrology was formed, there was no southern or northern hemisphere 
hemisphere and this is why I love because my like my my study my love is numerology that's what I started out doing the study of numbers yeah and how it works with an individual and how you can work out the soul's energy plus your life story chart yeah Mm. people love that when I do that I go right now I'm starting at birth (laughs) yeah and I go right so now this is where we're at now so this is what's going on now so now I'm going to read your chart nine years out into the future so I'm going to tell you what the energy is going out because I've covered all of the past so you now know was that all spot on yep I go right so if all of that was spot on then what I'm going to be telling you in regard to the future will also be spot on because it's related the same way yeah and I remember when I first read for Lionel, I said, right, I'm going to cover your, your past first up and then I'll go out to the future. And he just said, she told me stuff about my life that nobody knew. Yeah. My, you know, my closest, <laughs> closest friends, my closest, closest friends did not know some of the things that she was talking about. He said, so I sort of went, right, okay, right, now you've got my attention, you know. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, my great love was numerology because the whole of the world is based on numbers. We cannot do anything without numbers. We can't build a chair without numbers, yeah? Right. So it's like, so why on earth do we think that we're not ruled by numbers the same as everything else, yeah? So, 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 yeah. So, you know, I found that that was really, really interesting because, and I said, well, it makes sense because and she goes, yes, you talk a lot. I go, yeah, I talk a lot. That's Gemini. That's Gemini. Yeah. So, yeah. So the 13th side of the zodiac is actually a rachne. And rachne is one of the most psychic signs that you actually can have. And it's a sign of the spider. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just know that everything will be in its right order. And and I think the thing is, it's like, you know, with with what I get through and yeah, okay, yep, cool. Um, it's like it's like God has it God, God set it out in the first place. Man messed with it. So now, so now it's got to go back to God's way, yeah. not man's way, not our way, not the way that we want it to be, not the way that we hope that it will be. It will go back to God's way and God's plan. And I'm telling you, people, our lives are going to be unbelievable. How? I don't know. I don't that's all I keep on getting that's all they will tell me it is going to be unbelievable I the best is yet to come (laughs) the big man keeps telling us that the best is yet to come so well that kind of the same person had another question that kind of goes back to what we were talking about about thought um where we you know we've been on my channel specifically we've been reading through a lot of the missing books of the bible which really give a more complete understanding of what's happening and he i'm going to kind of paraphrase what he asked you know in churches i think globally christian churches around the world they've kind of taught this narrative of of revelation as being like this very scary thing which now we realize as we're in it it's a good thing so his question kind of was like were they the the bad guys, were they infiltrating these churches to try to get us to be afraid? To oh, be yeah. Oh, their- oh, like, like, yeah, like, hello, Comet. Yeah. Yeah, hello. Um, it's like religion has been based on fear. Yeah. It's, it's all been based on fear. If you don't do this, you won't go to heaven. Yeah. It's bondage, as Prime Minister like, says, it's like, bondage, yeah. Yeah, like, like, hello? Yeah. Like, hello? Yeah. And yeah. it's like, and it's like, and the Catholic Church is the worst. <laughs> yeah. The worst. It's a Catholic Church. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, you've committed a sin, just go in and just do, you know, like 30 Hail Marys and you'll be <laughs> right. So, like, hello? You go and do 30 Hail Marys and then have a guess what? They go out into the world and they do the same thing again. And then next week they're in doing another 30 Hail Marys. Like how ludicrous is that? I mean, <laughs> hello. But yeah. how but this is what I'm talking about is being programmed. Mm-hmm. The Catholic Church used to say, give me 
give me a child from birth to the age of seven and I will show you the adult. Wow. They knew. Wow. They knew, they knew exactly what they were doing, exactly what they were doing. And this yeah. person also talked about a lot about the, like the antichrist that we were going to see this antichrist, but now it's looking like, and I know some other people who, who are like more prof prof like are prophetic, like you are saying that that's not necessarily the case. We no. might not see the antichrist. We might not, it no. might've already been taken care of. Um, and this, this person, yeah. were they trying to get us to like co collective consciously bring about the antichrist? Is that what they were trying to get us to do? I mean, absolutely. I mean, with, yeah. with everything, with everything it's just the it's just been this constant programming and then whatever we thought about collectively manifest we then we yeah you then start to manifest that yeah 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 so yeah. like so this is why it's been so like very very important and i was just watching i love janine i mean janine yes. and just tarot by oh, janine just love FYI, janine. tomorrow i talked to janine and she definitely is down to do a, a a round table with you and her and oh that'd be that'd be amazing that'd be amazing yes. but you know but like it's like she is she has such an amazing amazing gift and but this is what i said to people right from the word go i said this is going to be a collective of people that all have their own individual gifts, yeah? And it's like, and the ones that are egoless will be the ones that will be the main players on the stage, yeah? Those that have got ego running, God will get rid of them. He'll just sort yeah. of, you know, I'll just push you off to the side, yeah? Yeah. Because because it's got to be like, it's got to be pure energy and it's got to be energy that's coming from people's hearts, that they are genuinely wanting to make a difference and they are genuinely wanting to heal people. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But she's like, um, yeah, and I forgot what I was going to say. She was talking about something, um, something that I heard her say. Anyway, yep, go on. Janine has no ego whatsoever. And I, she is so easy. You, you both are, you both have no ego. You're both super easy to work with. You just do whatever you're, 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 the, uh, your, with your divination, whatever the, the light God is telling you, you go in that direction. Absolutely. Yeah. I agree. I can't wait to get both of you together because that would be a yeah. really awesome show. So it'll be, it'll be, it'll be a doozy. <laughs> yes. Yes. So um, an, Aussie, an Aussie and a Canadian. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, oh, all right. So this kind of goes along with what we were just talking about. So somebody asked, and I'm going to say something that Prime Minister said as well in response to this that you've been kind of saying too. Um, since they've created so much fear, how long will it take to calm people down before changes can be rolled out? And what Prime Minister has said is that when this change happens, when it switches, what we're underestimating is the love of God. And so, and, and how like, and, but what do you think with that? Like with so much fear, how long is it going to take to calm these people down that have the, the carpet pulled out from under them, the, the deep sleepers when they have to be able to face the reality of, of, of everything they've believed has been an illusion. Yeah. Okay. Um, look, there are people on the planet um, and you know how I talk about the, like the, the 90% that have come to learn and to grow that I spoke about with you. Yeah. And how you've got, how you've got like, like your master souls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's just say master souls make up the 10% and then we've got the 90 that are here to learn and to grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of, a lot of them in the 90% have chosen to stay there okay. because they are given the opportunity to learn and to grow and to care about their fellow man, yeah, mm -hmm. right? Those those that are stuck in that energy um, are going to find it very, very difficult, very difficult. However, in saying that, if we have got 80% of the total world's population that has woken up mm -hmm. as a collective mind mind energy it's like there's no reason why it can't pick up that other 20 percent yeah and bring it over 
you just it's yeah. like how do I how do I say it? It's like they'll go to uh, okay. Yeah, okay, cool, right? What they're saying to me is they will go to bed one night in one state of being and they will wake up the next morning and it's like the light switches have come on. Yeah. Because because the exposure of everything, it's like it's moving at a very, very fast rate. Right. A very, very fast rate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, however, I also feel this is just my feeling. I'm not being told this. I'm not being shown this. Um, but it's like there will be some that will be left behind. Yeah. They just, they just will, they will not, they will not want to know about it. It's, it's like, because as I say to people, like what I teach in my seminar is, Okay, we've, we've got that programming from birth to the age of 10. However, after the age of 10, we continue being programmed mm -hmm. until we realise. So you've got your little, your little basket full of your negative emotions and your fears and your negative belief systems, yeah? Mm -hmm. But then if you are still with the same people and around the same types of people and you're still carrying all of that energy, it's going to increase. So it's like a gestalt type of a pattern. So you keep on repeating the same, which reinforces the fear, which reinforces the belief. You're yeah. Just giving it. You're giving it nutrients to keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just, yeah. Well, it's just happening. Yeah. yeah. It's just happening because that's what you are living. That's what you are believing. But the thing is, is that we all get woken up. And we can be a master soul and not realise, but then we wake up and we wake up and go, oh, my God, yeah, we get it. So um, so there are just some that are, okay, they're saying to me there are some that will be beyond reach, yeah. okay, and, and all we can do is basically pray, is pray that everyone, yeah, yeah. every person that was made in god god's likeness that are walking around with a god-given soul inside because we now know that there are a lot of people walking around on the planet that don't have a god-given soul inside of them yeah right yeah. they've got they've got some other mechanisms inside of them yeah um but they're made in god's likeness mm -hmm. And we just hope that the energy will be enough. But I'm also being told, as I said before, there are some that are just, no, it's like it's, they're not going to make it. Well, Keith said that, uh, that it was going to be like 4 four to 6% of the population are going to be gone forever. Like 4%, 4 to 6% of people on earth will just never, they'll never. And it, my boyfriend even, Todd even talked about how he thinks that these people who will never wake up no matter what you put in front of them eventually will kind of be like the ones walking around on the street talking to themselves because they're keeping their mindset in such a, a controlled matrix while the rest of us kind of move on into the light and so i don't know what are your thoughts on that will we have to like take yeah and the thing and the thing is it's like if if people if people are living within within that energy field they won't be able to handle our energy mm -hmm. yep It'll be yeah. they just they just yeah they just won't be able to handle the energy. I remember my mother, my daughter saying to me once, you know, she goes, you know, you walk into a place and blah 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 blah, and people, you know, men just look at you and they just look at you, right? But none of them, none of them come within cooey of you. I go, no, that's right. I frighten them. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, and I mean, Lionel used to go, oh, those eyes, when those eyes <laughs> you, you know, it's like you can't hide from those eyes. <laughs> so, awesome. But it's like, but this is, this is how I see it. It's like everybody is, you know, that get it, their energy, their energy field is going to change and their energy field is going to be really, really clear. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really, it's going to be just really clear and you'll just be because you'll know your soul, you'll know what it is that you're here to do and it's like and you'll just be out there and you will be doing it and you'll glow. Yeah. You, you know, you'll glow. It's like and you'll glow with the, with the, with the energy and the light, the light of God and Jesus Christ. You'll, you'll glow.
Yeah. Yeah. And the others, it's like they, you know, they will be, you know, they will just be like running from the light. It's like, no, I can't handle it. It's like it's, yeah, you're too much. Right. But you would have been told that you're too much. Oh, yeah. Yes, I have. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Bryce, Bryce. Oh, she's full on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's she's totally full on. <laughs> and it's like, yep. Yeah, and this is what I say to people as well, you know, and I teach in my seminars, what other people think and say about me is none of my business. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So long as I know that I'm coming from as much integrity as possible and I am not consciously hurting another human being. Right. Right. Uh, exactly. Yep. Yeah. To me, people are so concerned about what other people think and say about them. And I just say to people, do you know what? And they go, what? I said, they're so concerned about themselves. They're thinking about themselves. They're not thinking about you. you know, I have said the exact same thing to my yoga students. I'm like, when they first start coming into our classes and they think everybody's watching, I'm like, listen, everybody in that class is too busy worried about themselves. That's and right. Like, Don't worry about it. They're not looking at you. Like, That's you, right. You're too big. Think yeah. about you, when you go, you know, the, the, the stress you're feeling about people watching you, they're feeling that exact same stress. So don't yeah. even worry about it. Don't even yeah. worry about it. The first yeah. time I was living in LA, I was in my mid twenties and I heard an, an elderly lady in LA said, she said, what people think about you is none of your business. That I remember when I first heard that it didn't like a weight lift off, off of me. I was like, she's yeah. right. Yeah. She's How right. long were you in LA for? Uh, like and when? six years, uh, two, or, uh, later two thousands. Um, I can't, let me move into it. I moved back in 2009. Was the Bodhi tree still there? I don't, I never saw the Bodhi tree. I was too busy oh. being in my 20s and, uh, you know, oh my God. The oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Because Shirley, Shirley, Shirley McLean put me onto the Bodhi tree. She said, when you go back to LA, you've got to go to the Bodhi tree. So I went in and I said, Shirley sent me. And they just <laughs> up, you know, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, loved a- the, I loved, I loved the Bodhi tree. Yeah. LA was a time that was good for your twenties for me, but and I'm wow. glad I lived that life and I've had a lot of fun on the sunset strip, but I'm, you know, now my life is very different. So, you know, yes. Ron Doss used to say all that stuff is a part of your journey. You know, when you go through all these absolutely. different things. All yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. 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 So, but that makes sense about the whole, you know, and my, my boyfriend, we've talked a little bit about uh, the, uh, the power, the law of one, the raw material where you're, you're, where the earth is basically moving into fourth density positive, according to which, which lines up with the Bible. They all line up with each other. They're saying the same things with just with different words. Um, and they say that you're either, your soul is either going to be service to others or service to self and service to others is the positive side. Service to self is the negative. And so when you're in third density, which we are now, it's a time of choice. It's a time of, of making that choice. And a lot of us are called wanderers, which would be like the master souls that have, de- have decided to come back into third density to help the earth jump. And so that's a lot of us, like you have our, you, have, you, I think you definitely are one of these wanderers or master souls, Janine, like all these people that are so powerful. That's why they have made their soul made that decision to move back into third density so it can help the, the earth move into fourth density positive, but a fourth density negative being cannot be on a fourth density positive planet. So that's why we're going to see like, all these bad people are going to have to go because they can't, they can't exist. And, and the people who are still indecisive, they'll just have to go into another third density existence before and on another planet before they can make that decision of which path they're going to take. Yes. So well, what um, they will do is that they'll do what you were talking about before. They'll be walking around the streets, talking to themselves. Yeah. yeah? Because it's like, they can't, they can't handle like that, that lot of energy, that energy. Yeah. 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 But the thing is, it's like, like with the, the souls and you know how I talk about like being grade six and I talk about kindergarten souls, yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, and the the grade six souls actually made an agreement with God and they volunteered. So like the, the souls volunteered to come back onto the earth plane um, at this point in time to do whatever. And the souls that have been here, the grade six souls that have been here before, but then passed over, they were here to hold the energy of the planet so it wasn't destroyed. It's it's beautiful. beautiful. It's so beautiful. Fascinating. Yeah. We know even yeah. it with the Bible, there's and I can't I apologize guys, I can't remember who prophesied this, that um 
the disciples, the apostles that were around Jesus, and there weren't just 12 of them, there were like 70. Most of them were actually women guys that Jesus were there, Jesus' apostle, which was very revolutionary at that time, but that they would all come back as well in this time frame. It wouldn't just be Jesus coming back, it would be all of them. And you look at like Archbishop Vigano, who wrote all those beautiful letters to uh, President Trump about how the deep church and the corruption of the church and the letters are gorgeous. If you have not read his letters, I think he's in hiding now, but I was like, Oh my gosh, that's Paul. Paul was a letter writer. And now we have Vigano writing letters yes. in a beautiful yes. way, explaining exactly yes. what's happening to layman's, yeah. you know, yeah. this battle yeah. that's happening that it's not political. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's spiritual, you know? Yeah. Um, and so that makes a lot of sense. All these different texts, all, Say the same thing. It, yeah, they all do, yeah. And I can remember when I was a little girl and, and you know, going to Sunday school and all I wanted was a picture of Jesus. We used to get these little, you know, little sort of stamps of Jesus. And when I was asked, like, what do you want to do when you grow up? I go, I'm going to be like Jesus. <laughs> I mean, so there I was as this little girl, yeah. And then when I did a past life regression, it's like I was there. Yeah. And I was on the, the Sermon on the Mount and I'm like, and I'm going like, oh, my God. And I That's remember saying to awesome. Jim, you know, who was the, um, the head of the Australian Academy of Hypnotic Science, you know, that I studied with and I was his assistant, you know, and I came out and he went, hmm, with Jesus, were you? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, oh, my God. I said he was just, he was amazing. He was amazing and the energy from him. And then I remember saying to him, I said, and he had green eyes. Mm -hmm. He had I've green. I've heard that he, he had, had actually had red hair. I've heard that too, that people say he had right. reddish hair. Yeah. Right. The green, the green eyes. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, like, you know, like who knows? Who knows, hey? But, yeah. you know, but at least it's like we're here and we're here and the souls are using us, um, our physical bodies, to go out and do whatever and using our voices to, you know, our voice box to channel through whatever it is that needs to be said. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. More questions? Yes. So this one, somebody wants to know with the dumb, you guys, those are the underground mm -hmm. Oh my God! Did you hear about? Did you hear about Germany with all of the? Oh, oh! We don't have. We don't have new. We we just have the internet. We don't watch cable anymore because of all the. We just got rid of it. So oh, this is no. This is all on like all on my social media that I'll I get. Look. Yeah. The Roth, the Rothschilds farm was or. In whatever Germany, it was in Germany all of the children's bodies and they are not they are they don't have white skin a lot of them like the children do that live in Germany yeah. so well, very very interesting well I know yeah. that that different races um have different qualities of health I'm trying to see how I can say this without being too graphic and too gruesome and so I've learned in my research that the bad guys will use particular races for particular purposes. Right. And allegedly, from what I understand, um, black children, like children. Um, have, uh, are a lot healthier. Their organs are a lot healthier than like yeah. white children. Yeah. But white children, when they're scared, let, let off more uh, adrenaline in their blood. If y'all know what I'm saying, so white yeah. children are used for one purpose, and like black ch children black are used children for another used purpose. For yeah. Um, and so that's all I'll say about that. It's sick. it's so sick. I don't know any human being that would ever look at a hu another human being and see them as like cattle, you know, a sirloin steak, and then a filet mignon over here. Like I don't see I, no other human being I know would look at a small child and even consider that they're just a child. Um, that's how psychopathic these people are. But um. Yeah. So yeah. will with the um will they are they going to be completely like filled in or are they going to be used for something else when this is over? Um well I got that what I got and we'll see what Janine has to say but I got around about like 95% of them will all be destroyed mm -hmm. but there will be like 5% that will be used for positive 
reasons, mm -hmm. but the ones that are being used for positive reasons were not the ones that had all of that trauma happening because the thing is that energy is going to stay there. I was about yeah. to say, yeah, but, yeah, but I'm getting, I'm getting like a juggler is standing in front of me, juggling balls, yeah, and and so with that, the way I'm interpreting that is that it's like they're juggling, they don't know, they don't know, so they haven't made up their mind yet whether they're going to use that five percent or whether they're just going to destroy the whole. Get rid of it all, yeah. Um, yeah. My yeah. feeling, my gut feeling in regard to this is they'll all be gone. Yeah, just get rid of they'll them. All be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they'll all be gone because all of them have been used for for all sorts of negative reasons. Very, yeah. very, very, some, very evil. Some, ease, some evil, some really, really destructive. Yeah. Yeah, but not for good, not for good reasons. It's like just get rid of them, wipe them out, just it's wipe like them a, out. It's like a wound on the earth. You know, it's like yeah. if you have a, a scratch on your leg, you can't keep picking it. You have to let it heal. And I think that you're correct. Just filling them in, getting rid of them will help the earth collectively, not just the people of the earth, but the, the earth itself. The earth itself, itself needs to be healed. Yes. Yeah. Because I guarantee you the earth, uh, what was it? Huma was saying the new name now of earth is uh, Matia. So planet mm -hmm. Matia. Um, that that it, it doesn't like it. When, when, when these things were happening on earth, the earth, I would guess, did not like these things happening. The earth can yeah. feel that. It can feel yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and so, and so, yeah, I would, I agree with you. I think they're probably going to just get rid of them. All right. So somebody, y'all, this is how, this is how like not paying attention to the mainstream media I am. I didn't even realize the Olympics were going on right now. I didn't even realize. Uh, like, don't even talk about it. This is what I said. I said today, I said to somebody today, it was uh, one of my clients. Um, you know, I just said, you know, we were sort of talking about stuff and I was going, you know, and it's like um, some of my clients are blokes, have a lot uh -huh. of blokes, yeah, but, you know, they're in business and all of that and they're, they're a part of the um, Platinum Club, the, cl the Platinum Membership. So every month I call them to let them know what's the energy that they'll be working with this month so what they are best to do with the energy to get the best outcome, Yeah. And, um, and you know, like, so I spoke to one of my blokes today and, you know, and I just, and we're talking about this and we're talking about like, you know, the, you know, another lockdown, we've had another lockdown and now we're out of the lockdown and blah, 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 you know, and I said to him, I said, yeah, but, you know, I said, have you stopped and looked at it? It's like we're meant to be in a world and I said, and I said, they've got the Olympics. I said, doesn't that, doesn't that sort of like seem a bit weird to you? Well, that's what the person's <laughs> supposed to know. They're like, what's going on with the Olympics? <laughs> Why? Uh, and it's like, and the premier of, um, from Queensland locks down all of her people, but she's gone off to Japan to, you know, and it's like, Come on, people. You know, like we've got a song here which is called Come On, Aussie, Come On, Come On. Yeah. And this is what I keep on singing. Come on, Aussie, Come On, Come On. Like when are you going to get it? So are the white hats allowing this to happen to like wake people up? Wake people up. Yeah. Somebody yeah. Posted, now we know that the royal family, I don't even know if the people we see as the royals are actually the royals anymore, but somebody posted a great picture of um, Prince William and his kids at, uh, I think it was the soccer, the football soccer thing they had going on in Europe. And it was like, so look at this picture of the, 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 uh, the two heirs to the throne of England. And we're in a plague like epidemic and yep. they're at this soccer tournament. Like, does that not seem weird to you guys? That they would yeah. such a bad, devastating plague, basically. Yeah. So why would they? And, there, and there, and also they were there, and Kate was with them with no mask on. Yeah. Yeah. The three of them. Wimbledon, all of Wimbledon, they were. Uh, look, you know, like yeah, I'm just going to. Say, I said to my girlfriend today, I said it's called Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. <laughs> It's called Oi 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 is wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> 
I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. And so I, yeah, I mean, so if you, that might be something, if you have a friend that's like half awake and half like starting to wake up, maybe put, ask them, be like, isn't it strange that they got the Olympics going on right now when yeah. we're apparently being hit by a plague? Like, yeah. isn't that weird? Yeah. yeah. Strange, right? Yeah. Yeah, and you just you just you just drop little gems like that at people, and then just walk off. Yeah, let them figure it out. Yeah, let them figure them out. But it's like, but I had to laugh because I'm down. I went down and got my coffee today. But all these people, they just turn and they just look at me, and they look me up and down because I've got I've got no mask on. Yeah, can I just? And so I just totally, totally early. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you one thing that I have done now. This is this is this was interesting. Throughout the whole of this, I have never stocked up my cupboards. Yeah. I have stocked up my cupboards. I'm yeah. doing that today after we get off. I'm gonna go get because yeah, we know this month, guys. We've seen it from Michael Jaco from um I was gonna ask you about that. That was one of my questions. With we've seen Janine do the carvings on that. We are going to, we probably will see some stress this month because of, so yeah, I'm, I'm about to go do that too, to make, make sure you got your dog and your cat's food um, yep. because yep. it's yep. to yep. the precipice of, um, and I think it was Juan O'Saban or somebody said, we have to go through one last battle. Like it's going to have to be yep. one last yep. Yep. battle yep. before. So, so, so guys, it's like the ship's going to hit the fan big time. Okay, so, how, so however it is, however it is that it's going to play out, it will play out, but it's going to hit. But I, I had to laugh because my girlfriend rang me tonight and she goes, have you had dinner? And I said, yeah. She goes, what did you have? I said, I had a tin, <laughs> I had a tin of my organic tomato soup that I've put into, <laughs> I've put away. <laughs> She goes, right, tomorrow, go and restock. Yeah, 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 yeah. She said, it's the third night. You've had a tin of organic soup from your store. <laughs> I'm going into it. <laughs> it's too tempting. We, we, yeah. we stocked up. So we stocked up like last summer when everything was, we went and stocked up and then we just started slowly eating at it too. So. I know. And I know. That's, and that's something, guys, if you live in, like, we live in Atlanta, so there's a lot of people around us who are, like, very sleepy. Um, but this is your opportunity, if you know, to, like, stock up on more food, if you can, to be able to help your neighbors. Yeah, yeah. I'm know. just going to buy, because I've got, I've got all, everything for me is all organic. So organic soup, my organic, you know, like, you know, topping and all sorts of things, yeah. And I thought, well, I can get away with, some of my frozen sort of like my food stuff like that um and some fresh produce yeah but it's like yeah but then I'm just going to get some ordinary sort of like normal baked beans and spaghetti mm -hmm. and normal soup you know that's the cheapest one that's like not six dollars a can like my organic is yeah you know like yeah. two dollars yeah. so that it's like so I've got I've got it for people you I have it for people yeah. Yeah. especially if you're in a city because you know cities are probably the most yeah. rampant with people who are asleep. So yeah, yeah, now's your time to be able, if you have the money and you can't afford it to be able to, and that was something last summer because my boyfriend's always kind of been a doomsday prepper. So he has like in our storage, he has a huge batch full of like beans and stuff that lasts a really long time. And last yeah. summer we were going through everything, seeing what we had. And my boyfriend, I, I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about our neighbors, but my boyfriend opened up that batch to see how much he had. And he said out loud, he goes, oh good, we have enough for all of our neighbors. And it like made me emotional when he said that, that he was actually already thinking about that. Like it's going to be our responsibility to make yeah. sure our fellow man is not yeah. only provi provided for emotionally when they start to wake up, but we have yeah. food that we can bring yeah. it over to them if they if they need something because it really yeah. is where we go when we go all. And That's so, it. you know, yeah, you've got it. Yep, you've yeah. got it. You know, and this is you know when we look at this, it's like when we we're talking about this before about when we're looking at the ninety percent that are you know the kindies that are here to learn and to grow and to get up to the grade six level. Yeah, because they can do it in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's like, but, you know, like the mindset there is that I look after myself. Yeah. That's their mindset. We look at grade six and grade six is I look after me, then I look after the others. Mm -hmm. But with them it's like I look after myself. So me it's because I'm, I'm okay, 
so long as I'm okay, I don't care about anybody else, yeah? So, right. again, this is this big shift and change of energy as well. Yeah. That is, yeah. You know, that's going to be happening. Yeah. Service to others. Service, always being at, at service to others. Um, yeah. Now, let's see. I have a ton of questions, but I'm going to ask one more because I know it's getting late for you. Um, and then we'll save the rest for, um, for the next time. Um, and this is, unless you have a few more minutes to do a couple more questions. Keep on going. Okay. All right. So yeah. this is for a particular uh, viewer of mine because she was so grateful for the pine needle tea and she want to know, so she's 52 years old and she has some heart issues. Um, her heart is only working at like 40%. I she's have a 100% perfect working heart now. You see, because the thing is, is that I want to know, it's like who told her that her heart was only working at 40%, a doctor. Got it? And so, therefore, the doctor will say to her, so, therefore, you need to be on this medication mm -hmm. uh, for the rest of your life. Who's the medication made by? Big Pharmaceuticals. Yeah. Right? Do they want her heart to get better? No. Why? Because they want that money coming in. Yeah? I have a 100% perfectly function heart now now also with the heart energy she needs to she needs to put a hand over her heart and go okay what do you need are you filled with hurt are you filled with hurt from the past is it a certain person that I'm still carrying in my heart that I've you know that I haven't been able to release and let go of yeah and then whatever the answer is, then all she does is just, you know, download one of my um, recordings and just listen to it. Yeah. You know, if it's a person, the Hawaiian healing will then cut all of the negative cords and do all of the healing that she needs to do. If it's like negative emotions that she's hanging on to, it's about clearing them from her life. Plus yeah. also I think the other one's called um, Inner Peace. The inner peace is about the clearing of the negative emotions from the organs, the right. internal body. Yeah. And let's, because I, you know, I, I think we might have talked about this before, but I've known about this. And I, and somebody wrote last time I mentioned it, that they wanted to know more about this, but we actually do guys, you, with people that you have like a karmic relationship with, you can have like literal cords. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I learned this. Yeah. I learned this from, um, like from uncle George in like in Hawaii, um, that big island, George Naopi, and it's like, and they were teaching about the Arca cords. So the ancient Hawaiians called them Arca cords, Arca cords of connection. You can connect to people, you can connect to situations, you can connect to conversations. Yeah, so you're literally whenever, pulling them with you. Oh yeah, and you do. You you know you're pulling, you're pulling them, you're pulling them along with you. So when we actually do the cutting of all of the cords in you know in in my seminars. It's like people go like, oh, my God, and then I go around and go, right, anybody got any big ones? And some of them can be like freaking tree trunks, yeah, yeah? and they'll go, oh, I've got this big one and it's coming <laughs> out of my stomach here or I've got it coming from my heart or I've got it coming from my throat or, yeah, and then I just do the Hawaiian symbols and then just do that, you know, and just cut it, yeah. you know, and I just say to them, are you ready to let it go? They go, yep. Yeah. So I do all of that, but then there's usually a whole lot of glunk gunk that I've got to clean out as well. Yeah, and so I've, I've um, heard that, that, that that's, that's the that's the that's the Hawaiian Hawaiian healing is the cutting of all of the negative cords, and it's it can be kind of painful from what I understand. You actually feel it, like you can feel it. Oh yeah, you do, you do. Yeah. My body, my body jumps. Yeah, yeah, and I've actually had people in the seminar where their bodies will actually come off the floor. You know, their bodies come up and down like that because it's, <gasps> yeah, it's yeah. all of these cords are being cut. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. fascinating. It's so fascinating. fascinating. But the thing it's is the so cords are being cut, but then after the cords are cut, then what I do is I take them on the journey of healing where all of the cords were connected into them. Oh, because you've got to heal, you've got to yeah. heal that because we don't want them to grow back. Right. Is so imagine, guys. Imagine if we could actually physically see these things. How much different our perspective would be on how they yeah. affect us. Yeah, so, I used to say to people like, if we had to wear our insides outside of ourselves, we would we would really eat a lot better, mm -hmm. and we would be very careful with what what it was that that we were drinking. Mm -hmm. So what it was that we ingest if yeah. we wore our bodies outside of ourselves. Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> I just go, hi, yes, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. What's funny, yeah. you're talking about something I say almost every morning, going back to what we were with, uh, it just hit me. I, I see a lot because I know we carry, you know, I have been told because my, um, my lineage, my bloodline is my great, great grandfather was born into the English royal family. And so I carry that like RH negative that they carry yeah. bloodline. And I have learned to say that because I have, from what I understand, I have ancestors that have made agreements for like me and different generations. Something mm-hmm. I say every morning with that attachment is I don't consent. I don't okay. consent to what they decided to do with me. I don't consent. And I'll wake yeah. up morning sometimes with like scratches on me and I'll, and I'll basically say, if I feel my body feels weird and I feel like maybe something was put into me, I'll be like, you got to take this out now. Cause I don't consent. And normally within five minutes, I feel better. Yeah. No. Oh, speaking of that. Oh my God. Um, I went and saw, a kinesiologist that I used to see years ago and I met her through, yep, social media with her posting everything, yeah, like telling people to wake up, yeah. And it's like it would have been probably around about mm, July, maybe August of last year. And you know when you're sort of you're waking up in the morning and you're half a week awake and you're half asleep? Mm-hmm. And I felt something in the top of my head, the right side of my yeah. head in here. And I just, and excuse my language, people that are listening and Bryce, it's like, and I just sort of, all of a sudden I just woke up and I went, what the fuck are you doing? And I went, fuck off. <laughs> And then I sort of like, and I spoke to a couple of my, you know, like my natural therapist and they went, oh, yeah, look, you know, like we're doing this and done something. But I went to Joe and I'm lying there and I said to Joe, something happened at the top of my head. She goes, hold on a minute. She goes in and she goes, oh, yeah, they put a tracker in you. Yeah. A tracker. And I went, what on earth? And she said, well, it's to track you with where you're going and what you're doing, but it's also tracking your energy. And once you get to a certain level of energy, they're sucking you dry. And I went, oh, my God. So she got rid of it. She took it out. And I have just had so much energy since then. It's not funny. Guys, vampires are real. They they will suck you. And, and my, Todd does the same thing. He's had multiple alien experiences as a little boy. And so he, and he'll say he, when he thinks like, you know, maybe something was put in, put in him and it's like, you have to just, nope, nope. Because this whole thing works off of free will. And so That's if right. you, you take care of it and put that boundary up, they, ha- they cannot break yeah. That, yeah. that, that, they can't yeah. do that to you. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't, but think about it guys, like the good guys are fighting for sovereignty, sovereignty for people, sovereignty for nations. The bad guys don't want us having sovereignty. They want us all to be owned by them. Yeah. So it's all but, about know, As I'm also saying to people, it's like, it, again, with my saying, trust in God, but tie up your donkey. Exactly. So you can, trust in, you can trust in what the White Hats and everybody's doing, what Trump is doing, but it's like, but you've got to tie up your donkey. Uh-huh. You've got to take responsibility and you've got to do, you've got to do what you need to do. And it's like when I spoke to... Um, you know, my ex-son-in-law's wife, right? And we were talking about the boys and and she said to me, she said, well, if they do anything or say anything about the boys needing to be back, she said, we're getting a tutor. Yeah. We're getting a tutor to come in and the kids are being pulled from school. And I said, well, the thing is school only teaches them a whole lot of lies anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So I said the whole of the schooling system is going to change. I, and, and you know what the, the, what's, I was actually just had a conversation with one of my friends who's a high school teacher yesterday, just yesterday, we were talking about this and she's awake. She's super awake. And, you know, she always laughs that she just kind of shuts her door and does teaches what she feels like she needs to teach children how to think for themselves. And yeah. one of the greatest things that happened in lockdown, especially here in America, is that all of a sudden parents were overhearing what their teacher, what the teachers were teaching their children on these. That's right. Homes. That's right. So have a guess what? Have a guess what? They thought that they were going to destroy us. They thought that they were going to destroy marriages and families. Have a guess what? We've got stronger. Yeah. We've got stronger. Families have got stronger. And like you just said, it's like they're teaching them what? Yeah. Like what are they saying? Yeah. Like 
hello, hello, comet. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, no. So, yeah, so when, yeah, so when Kimberly told me that, I went, oh, that is great. I said, I'll pay for half of the tutor fees because it's for my grandson. Yeah. And then they will pay it for, you know, for her son. Yeah. Well, that's what a lot of parents now are doing. A lot of teachers that I know here in Georgia who are not, because a lot of teachers in America are part of the union, which is the problem is they're pushing the narrative, but there are a lot of teachers here who aren't. And so they're leaving their jobs and now they're being paid by families to come over and teach that's their right. children. That's so it. it's and like that's, the, that's the, that's the yeah. tutoring. It's like, yeah. it's all going to change, but you know, we, with one of the girls today and she was saying, well, like, you know, like, well, I'm like, I'm an ex teacher. So what I'm planning on doing that if, if it comes to that, I will be going in and I will be doing, I'll be doing a class for all of the children because all of our children are in as the same age and in the class. So I will do, I will be the teacher and I'll be the teacher during the week and then the mothers will still go out to work but the children are being educated but by it being educated by a mum. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah, in what's important in life. Right. Communities are coming yeah. to like, girl. And that was, that's the last, that's the question I'll end on. Cause I know it's getting late for you and then everything else guys will say the next time. But she asked, will the medical professions need to be completely retrained? I think yes. And most of us will have to be retrained. Um, well, the thing is, is that hospitals will not be around. Yeah. They won't be used. Doctors will not be around. Nurses will not be around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like all of that pharmaceutical companies will be gone. Yeah. It will be going back to the natural way of doing so. If we and, and I just said, and somebody said to me, "What do you see the houses being used for?" And I mean the uh, the um, hospitals being used for. And I went housing <laughs> to house people. You know, it's like things will things will all be nothing will be wasted. Everything will be utilized, but it will be used utilized in a positive way, not a negative way. Yeah, but doctors won't, yeah, they won't be needed. And doctors were only needed back then if somebody broke a leg. But then if I think about Uncle George when he said, you know, the kids used to fall out of the palm tree, he would just do simple work on them and the bones would just absolutely mend themselves because they didn't know any other way. That was their programming thought process that things can, yeah, like one of, you know, one of my clients that had multiple sclerosis, it's now... And they given her all of the drugs and basically said, well, there's nothing more we can do. And she came and she did the clearing work with me, the transformational work. And it's like she's MS free. She wears five, six inch heels. Yeah. She only had 20% vision in one eye. She's now got 80% vision in that eye. So, and I just had her saying, like with this lady, like with her heart, you know, I had a, I said, you got to prattle. You have to prattle. And she said, what do you mean prattle? I said, in regard to your eyesight, you've got to prattle. And she goes, T, what's prattle? I have 100% perfect eyesight now. That's yeah. it. You just keep, you have to keep on repeating. I've put the symbols in, yeah, so that's all that you have to do. So the lady with the heart, if she wants to get in contact with me, I'll do a Skype and I'll do some symbol work with her through through the screen. Because it goes through, yeah? So, and then tell her what she needs to prattle, okay? So down in the description box below is Tamara's contact information. And on this, this is one thing I'm going to say too about what you're saying. I've said this on other shows before. Um, so I'm 38 years old. That's still relatively young. But when I was like 33, 34, I started struggling with arthritis big time to the point wow. where I had a hard time even getting out of my bed. Now, I'm very active. I do. We obviously go to India a lot. And maybe I thought I'm overusing my body like athletes. I'm teaching a lot. But literally, I mean, my boyfriend, who's 10 years older than me, would get out of bed and it would take me a few minutes and I would just cry in pain. And then, and I was trying all these different medications. I was trying the Ayurvedic, but focus, focusing on an Ayurvedic diet, all this stuff and nothing was helping. Well, then lockdown happened. Lockdown happened. And it is the most bizarre thing. I haven't had an arthritic flare up since the great awakening started happening. Well, oh, I feel healthier now. I, you not, I am healthier now at 38 than I was at 25. 
And yeah. I, was a yeah. I hadn't seen in a long time. I saw her yesterday and she looked at me when she came into the studio and she was like, you look different. You look fitter. You look healthier. She's like, what have, what have you been doing? And I was just like, you know, I wanted to say I, I, I woke up. But I, yeah. you know, I didn't want to like, you know, it was in a business. So I was like, I, you know, I'm just taking care of myself. But uh, when I, I talked to Janine about it and Janine read the cards and she was like, yeah, because when you're standing, because I've noticed, I've noticed that a lot of the truthers, our community, all look, are looking super young, super healthy. Their skin yep. looks good. They're, yep. they're just glowing. They're glowing. Yep. So you're, the yep. light, Janine said, when you stand in truth, the yep. light comes in. That's it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Yeah. And like, and this is what I say to people. It's like when you don't want to do something, just say, well, no, that doesn't work for me. Yeah. You know, and people go, oh, but, you know, and I go, no. It's like, no, it doesn't work for you. Why would you be saying yes to somebody about doing something when you don't want to do it? Yeah. And I said, it have something to do with you being liked? And they go, yeah. And I go, does it don't, do want, matter who want, you? Yeah. You know, like, why do you want people to like you? And you, what you're doing is that you're doing something that you don't want to do in order to have them like you. I said, does that make sense to you? And they just look at me and go like, no. And I go, no, right, no, okay, yeah, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and well, I when, I went, when I went and visited my, um, uh, I go to a guy by the name of Jim O'Hearn, Jim O'Hearn and he works with vibrational machines, yeah. And I saw him about three weeks ago and, and after I finished here, I walked out and was walking down the hallway to get my herbs and things and he stuck his head out and he goes, hey, kiddo. And I go, yeah. And he went, just check, check, check the machine. And I go, yeah. And he said, 32 years of age. And I went, ripper. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. People, where people say to me, how old are you? And I go, biological or what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like, oh, uh, yeah, I say to people, I'm 120. Why? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, and yeah. that's what they, they, they yeah. want us. So, our body, this is kind of my, how I'm seeing it. And I, Elizabeth, uh, my friend Elizabeth, who has a TikTok, she said this on Prime Show today, and I, I thought this was great. They tell us we have 97% junk DNA. We don't, the no. God doesn't make junk. So they, they want us to think that we that we have all these cancers and all this stuff that's going to like our, we need to have, be afraid of our body and go to the doctor and take all these medicines. It's like they're trying to not let us know mm -hmm. that we actually have all this power. Yep, you've got it. Yep, you know, because you see like Nadia, I mean, all of the girls that belong to the company that she was like working with, they all like they saw her on you know, like with a walking stick with her multiple sclerosis. And basically, like she was in her mid mid to late thirties, it was like go home. There's nothing else we can do for you. And she's got this little boy, so it was basically go home and die because there's nothing more. So she said to me, "Can we do? You know?" And she did some. I did some training for the company that she was working with, and and did some of the transformational work from the subconscious. And she got tingling in her fingertips. And, she, and I went over because I check everybody. How are you? Are you all right? Are you all right? Are you all right? And she goes, I've got tingling. And I went, oh, that's nice. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and off I went. Then we did another training. And then I checked and she said, I've got tingling in the side of my face. I went, oh, okay. And then she looked at me. She said, do you know what I've got? And I went, no. She said, I've got multiple sclerosis. She, they sent me home because I was at the end of all of the drugs. And she said, I've got tingling. If I continue working with you, do you think that this could go? I went, I don't know. But I said, we can give it a go. I said, because the subconscious mind rules and runs the whole of our body. Mm -hmm. So so I said, you know, with my cancer ladies, I go, their cancers go. So let's give it a go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, her story is on my website, on the health, the health section in the menu. It's like Nadia tells her story. Yeah, I believe it. I be well, the Bible says yeah. this, that, that we will have like light bodies, that we will start to, That's it. Yeah, That's be able it. to heal ourselves and be able yes. to. Yeah. 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 But another thing, it's like, excuse my language, but it's like the crap that they've been putting into our food, mm -hmm. all of that crap yep. will be gone. We'll be doing detoxing. We'll be getting rid of, you know, like, like everything that they've had in the chemtrails that we've been breathing in. I mean, I mean, I'm excited. Me too. 
me. And I say to God, I, I just say to God, thank you for keeping me alive this long. <laughs> well, I hear what I hear from other researchers and what Todd has said too, is that there was basically to be on planet earth at this time in this timeline there, we won the lottery basically to be here that there were yeah. souls lined up that wanted to come to, cause this is such a magical time to be alive, such a powerful time to be experienced, the experience in the earth right now that we are the lucky ones. So when you, as we go back to like, what we're talking about in the beginning with a positive thought, when times are stressful, remember you're the lucky, you won the lottery. God yep. picked you. God got yep. an agreement with you to do yep. this job, to yep. be here. And so yep. that's powerful. That is yep. powerful for the light. So I know it's, 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 an, it's definitely, I mean, and with the whole doctors relearning stuff, we're all, again, we probably won't need doctors at all, but we're all going to have yep. to relearn. Our, our history books yep. are wrong. What we think yep. about the earth is wrong. We don't yes. even know what we're standing on at this point. We don't even know what this right. is. You know, people are now seeing two suns. People are starting to see another That's star. Right. That's right. And they're taking photographs of it and putting it up on social <laughs> putting it up on Facebook. Like you're like, are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> so, and now, and now that the alliance is like is nearly fully, fully, fully taken over, it's like these things are staying up on social media. So people are being exposed to this. Oh, my that whole look the solar amazing. system we had to make as kids for paper mache with the one sun and that's not what that looks like out there. Why are there there two sons? Why are there two sons? So everything we know, everything we think about ourselves, and we are, you know, in in the Hindu faith, Krishna, who was one of the avatars, when he was a little boy, he was Govinda. And there's a story where he was eating dirt. As kids do, they put things in their mouth. And his mother came and opened his mouth to try to clean the dirt out. When she opened Govinda's mouth, she saw the whole universe inside of him. That's us, guys. Yep. We carry that in us. We are not a mistake. We yeah. are not just an accident floating out in space. They, yeah. We are, and that is why they've spent hundreds and hundreds of years trying to infiltrate our thought because they don't want us to know how powerful we are. We are That's children right. of the living God, you know? It. So, so yeah. it's exciting. Yep. It's, it's I know. Special. I it's know. Exciting. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, also, <laughs> just to finish off, Um, A lot of your listeners are still um, ordering soul reading charts with me. They must click on the 350 Australian side. Okay. Because that's that's the discount. Now, it says updated reading. Okay. But they've got to click on that, but they get the full reading that's normally 440. Mm-hmm. Australian, they get the full reading for 350, which works out to 270 American dollars. Right. So <laughs> yeah, so guys, when you see they get they yes. get a bit, yeah. And I've got yeah, I've got a couple of them that have come through that have paid 440 so that when I actually read to them, I'll get their credit card details and give them the $90 credit back onto their cards. Yes. And yeah, remember guys, Australia uses dollars like we do in America. So don't be confused by that. It's the Australian dollar. So again, yeah, we, us in Australia, I think Canada also uses dollars as well. So we all use that same new, that same word for our currency. Like England uses the pound. We both, so don't be confused by that either. That is the Australian dollar. So that's amazing. I, I love all of my, the, I don't even want to say my community, the community here on Esoteric Land. I feel like we're all just doing this together. Oh, but, so. but they're, but they're amazing. They're amazing. I, 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 like, I love them. And I, and I, and I bring up, you know, we're doing the Skype and I go, hello. <laughs> I go, hello. And I go, how are you? <laughs> so, and I go, right now, are you ready? Are you ready? And they go, yes. <laughs> and it's like and two hours and then I get to an hour and then I go, do you, are you right? Do you need a break or anything? No. You're okay. You're recording. Yes. And then I go into the next hour, you know, and it's just been, it's amazing. I love all the people here on this channel. Even my mother said something. My mother was, she goes, she said to me one day, you know, she'll watch some other YouTube channels, like not truther, but like drama. And she's like, you know, I see all these people and they have these crazy comments and all of your subscribers are so nice and like nice to each other and like hearting each other's comments. And I'm like, I know all the people yeah. on this channel are just such bright lights and are just yeah. 
such yeah. warriors within their own lives. And it's truly, yeah. I mean, I, I honestly, it's such a privilege to be able to like have a platform where we can all connect together, you know? Yeah. So, and yeah. I feel like I share this with you because you are like one of the most requested guests I have. Whenever I put on my community board that you're coming back on, people get so excited. I'm like, I'm excited too. So I told, I told one person, I was like, I'll be listening to you talk and I'll be so mesmerized that I'll actually forget that I'm interviewing you. <laughs> I actually, am. I'm just so mesmerized. I'm like, oh wait, no, you're, you got <laughs> I love it. It's amazing. Well, it's like, it's just been, and you know, like, and I've just, I've just pulled myself back and I just work with you. So you're the only, yeah. Yeah. Because like I said, like I said, for me, it's like, I know that, you know, I can share this and this is my platform. And I'm just saying to everybody, you want to hear what I have to say, go to this platform. But the time that I do have, instead of me being interviewed by everybody all over the world, I would rather be doing the soul readings for people to give them the understanding and the direction for their lives so that they can then move forward with that. Yeah. That's amazing. I can't wait till I can actually come to Australia and hug you. <laughs> no, I know. Just... Yeah. Now, also, if there's somebody, if there are people out there that live in Maryland, mm-hmm. now it's Maryland near DC or a part Maryland, of DC. Yeah, Mar- so Maryland's like uh, Virginia and Maryland kind of share DC. It's weird. They kind of. Okay. Kind of All right. So if there's together, anybody, yeah. anybody from Maryland, could you please message me because one of Bryce's people has got nobody to talk to, to sit and have a coffee with and talk about, you know, like, yeah, this side of things. And yeah. she's, got, she's got a family that she can't talk to and she's just beautiful, the most beautiful, beautiful lady. Yeah. yeah. Maryland's um, very much in the state. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. very yeah. blue. She's, so, about, yeah. she's about to go down and spend some time in Florida. Good. So if you are in Florida... Um, Maryland, if you wouldn't mind just emailing me so I can pass on your details to her. God bless yeah. you. Yeah. We're yeah. all just walking each other home. We're all just help, yeah. we're holding each other's hands as we walk into. That's amazing. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I can't imagine what it's like being in, in like Maryland or DC that the area is so like tyrannical and you know it, it's you know I'm I'm with I'm, I'm in I'm in a pretty blue city but I'm in a red state so it's not as bad here in Georgia and Florida's the, the governor of Florida basically excuse my language basically well actually he did on a phone recording it went out there governor DeSantis told told Biden to fuck off yeah I know like, no offense fuck I, know. Off. That's what he told Biden. I know I know but did you see Biden the other day when they said to him he had something like food on his face and he took it off and ate it. Ew, no. <laughs> oh, God. That's so classy for the president. I thought, yeah, I thought you'd like that one. <laughs> oh, God. Whoever is. There's a round of applause when all of this is over. So, because <laughs> this yeah. is. He is, he deserves an award because I think it's James Wood. I think James Wood is the one doing it. He's like, yeah. he's yeah. so, um, yeah. so um, yeah. all right. All right. Well, it's getting super late for you. Love, love you. Love, love you. Love going, you. I'm, going to, I'm going to go and have a cuppa. <laughs> Do you know what a cuppa is? Tea? Is it tea? Yeah, cup of tea. Yes. Cup of tea. Yes. going to go and have yeah. a cuppa. Yeah. Oh, it's I have to go and do my doomsday shopping now. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. Love you. Love you. Bye. Love you.